Hi, my name's Liam and welcome back to the channel Basic Film. In this episode I want to show you how to create 2D annotation and how to offset it in plan view by the use of parameters. Uh, I've previously just created a simple generic double socket outlet uh, with back box and little connection and uh, now I want to create a 2D annotation for it to load onto Plan B, which is just Revit sample project. So we'll go back and I opened up a new generic annotation that's metric and I just selected rotate with component and keep text readable. So the first thing we'll do is create our 2, 2D annotation, default region, black's okay, you create a line of Three millimeters. Create our arc. Select OK, and I want to duplicate this because it's a double socket outlet. So I'll just hit MM for mirror command, and I will create a group for these. Uh, I'll just move this away so you can see it clear. So now that's our generic 2D annotation created and next uh, we'll set up dimensions for our parameter. So first thing we do is create a reference line and edit group create another reference line right at the center there. Now we're going to go to DI, Dimension Command, from the center line to our reference line. And this distance I want to be 20. And this dimension we lock. Hit Escape, DI for Dimension Command. So from this reference line to this reference line, create a dimension. And from the bottom of our 2D annotation, to the reference plane, create a dimension. These dimensions we do not lock. So this dimension I want to give a parameter, there are none created. So I'll create parameter and this dimension I call dimension X. You can call this dimension whatever you want it to be. Group it under other, click select, okay. This parameter there are none created. Create new parameter and I call this parameter plan symbol front offset. It's an instance parameter and I group it under constraints for convenience. You can name these parameters whatever way you like. This is just what I'm used to. And We will now go into the family types and we will create a new parameter called plants on both left offset. Again, oops, under constraints, and it's an instance parameter. Select OK. And this is the part where we Use a formula to manipulate Revit so we can get a plus figure for this offset from this line and a minus figure for right offset from this line. So we put on edit, sorry, do we not want this to be recording? We now want this to say. Let me just move the mouse. Plus 20 millimeters. Enter. Hit OK. And so this is where the 20 millimeters comes into play. And we are offset front 4.1 millimeters. So now if I select 
zero. Add apply. We are now back to zero. Left offset, as in when you're looking at it, left this way. So if I go two millimeters, two millimeters. If I go offset minus five millimeters, apply. We have now gone to the right. And we will reset our default back to zero, zero. Select OK. Now we're ready to load it onto our project or onto our family. Load onto project or family. Select OK and we will just line it up. Now the next thing we do is our parameters loaded in, but they're not active. They're, this is great. This is not created. Associate family parameter. There are no families or parameters created, so we will create one, and it's the same name as this here. So again, instance parameter and constraints for convenience. Select OK, select OK, and you can see now that it's grayed out. So again, we will create a new parameter for this one. Again, you can call these parameters whatever you want. Uh, instance parameter and constraint, select OK, and select OK. And before we load this into our project, sorry, cancel. Maintain annotation orientation. Make sure that box is ticked. Select OK. Load into project and our basic project we've set up. And I can load an outlet in the wall. And I've set the default elevation at 1200 millimeters. I'm keeping the back box and the faceplate active just for illustration purposes. Normally they would be hidden. Uh, so, for example, if I want to create a new one, CS there, I will change my scale. To 1 to 100 and now you can see that our symbols are overlapping so this is one of the reasons why I created a parameter to offset so if I go plan symbol front offset change that to 1.5 millimeters for example our 2d annotation is now offset I can change that back to 1 and there now we can highlight that we have two outlets side by side but we're clearly showing the annotation uh, and plan view clearly to hide the 3d annotate or to hide the 3d part of the family we'll just go back into our family 3d view and we'll just temporarily hide that he cheats for temporary hide We'll select our 3D elements, visibility settings, plan RCP untick, select OK, and we will load it under our project and see if it's hidden. Overwrite existing version as parameter values, select OK. Right, so that didn't work, so I know why. We will select our two. 3D elements again, visibility settings, front and back, on tick, tick or plan view and RCP again, select OK. It just depends on what reference did you create your family on. Load back and your family, override or existing, and our 3D elements have disappeared. But if we select 
or three elements and select 3D view, there they are clearly to see. So that's it for this episode and thank you for watching and so don't forget to like and subscribe and add any comments in the questions or add any comments or questions below. Thank you.